Did you get a chance to read over the focus for the week and the standards? Yeah. So our focus is making connections. And as I was looking at the United Glance, one of the standards that popped out at me was L5. Okay. So I think that's something that my students need to work on a little bit more. And what was L5? Let's look at the unit overview. Sorting words into categories, identifying commonalities, and underlining concept among groups of words. Okay. Is that something that you've noticed that they need to work more on or more practice? Yeah, during different assessments that I've given and during guided reading lessons, I noticed that's something that they could use some extra practice with. Okay, great. Were there any of the lesson seeds that you read, some of the lesson ideas that maybe you might want to expand into a more detailed lesson? Yes, I was looking at the lesson seeds, and there was one down here that caught my eye. This one is students sort words into categories according to key attributes. Students sort words and then identify their reasoning and the categories into which they were sorted. So that sounded like a good activity, sorting words. Oh, yeah, I've done a really fun strategy with that before. I don't know if you're familiar with the making words strategy. No. So that would go right in with that, and I think that that's a nice way to tie in the L5. Okay, And great. also, I think you could build some of those other standards that were mentioned on the suggested standards, um, probably speaking and listening. Definitely using um, words and sentences. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'd have to look at the actual language for maybe some of the other ones, but I think there's opportunity to build in maybe some of the foundational skills for reading. Um, so why don't we look there and we can pull up on our computers the template and we can start thinking about backwards mapping that out starting with the standards and okay. what that end goal would be. Mm -hmm.